there's your reserve, your town, and say, here's the, here's the opportunity for you. Here's what would work best. And here's how long it would take to, to pay it off through the savings that will come in. And this is the key part. And we'll loan you the money so you can do it right now. And you just keep paying the power bill. You're already paying until it's paid off. Now, once it is paid off, those bills go down to next to nothing. Or, depending on how much power you're producing, maybe you're actually making money. Maybe it's now a source of revenue. This, to me, is a really exciting model because it gets rid of the one major thing that's in the way of this transition revolution. It also creates opportunities for thousands of new jobs in installation, in manufacturing, in so many aspects throughout the supply chain connected to this new model of producing energy. It is our chance to shift to that clean energy. It's also something that will lower people's bills right away and so much more in the long run, making life more affordable. And because it's a loan program, because the money is given out and then paid back with the savings, that money is there for us to use again and again and again as we have a revolving fund and we can continue to advance this mission. To me, it's a, it's a story that is right at people's homes. They can feel connected to it. They, they have the, the immediate opportunity to be part of counteracting climate change. And you may see people right now think that they don't want to see action, or think that it's way too hard, and that we just shouldn't bother. Go from being opponents, go from pe pe being people who would object to action on climate change to being the proponents. Moving from being opposed to being leaders in this to wanting to be part of that movement to lead. And to me, this is really exciting as a story of who we are as a province, getting back to our, our roots of being the kind of province that dreams and delivers, that sees a problem in front of it, works together on a collective solution, and does the work to get the job done to make the change happen. Now, of course, this isn't the answer to everything Saskatchewan needs to do on climate change. It has to be part of a larger story of how we reduce emissions and how we seek other opportunities. It's also not our whole story as we talk to the people of the province going into the next election about what kind of Saskatchewan they want. It has to be tied to other important initiatives like a $15 minimum wage so that people who are working full time aren't going to the food bank. It has to be connected to a plan for farm care so people aren't making the decision whether to pay the rent, pay for groceries, or pay for the medications they need to stay healthy. And it needs to be connected to a new approach to mental health because in this province for too long, mental health and addictions have been neglected. Too many people are struggling. We have an opportunity to help people now to save lives and save money in the long run by taking mental health serious, by making that a priority, by moving beyond our limited view of what is medicine to include all of our bodies, our minds, our eyes, our teeth, and take care of each other the way that we should, the way that was planned from the beginning of Medicare. So when we talk about renewing Saskatchewan, we're absolutely talking about renewable energy, about solar, about wind and more. We're also talking about renewing our health, renewing education, a renewed economy, a renewed commitment to a renewed sense of justice and equality, a renewed story of who we are and what we're here to do, of why we work, of why we love this province, and why we work together to dream the big dreams and deliver on those dreams. Once again, thank you very much for your time. I want to invite the, the, the folks up, the panelists, if they're wanting to join and answer some questions, if anyone has questions, and, and the MLAs as well. If you'd like to join, you're more than welcome to. Uh, I'd love to see you up here. We'll take a few minutes of questions. And also, if you know it's Renew Saskatchewan, I'll do my one little plug. Um, tell people what you heard tonight.
what are we going to Tell do? people about the New Saskatchewan. Share that story. It's a new year, it's 2019, so renew your membership. Yeah. We can renew that thing too. And do connect with Josh, do connect with Shannon about the projects that they've got underway. Uh, this is the kind of community leadership and community building that can be a really important part of spreading, in fact, of this kind of message and approach. Thank you. Go ahead and line up so you don't get left out. Okay. No, I can ask. Okay. okay. Uh, Sounds good.